So it just so happened that my insanity was put up in Herman's group in group D. So we've got four versus five here and winner will advance to the quarterfinals. The loser will still have to win another set of matches to make it to the quarterfinals. The so, two places that Horman are saving their points to get to to get that Baylor uh, is they are not picking such a powerful tractor. So um, that you know they they've not got a care wheel tractor and they've not got a uh, and they've not got a second big tractor, which means they're only spending two points on their second tractor, not three, um, and uh, and yeah, not taking that Archimedes. My insanity have got that Fent Baylor. So this is going to be interesting. We've got two teams facing off each other against each other, both with that Fent Baylor. Yeah. It's going to be uh, a much more even fight. And uh, yeah, I don't think Archimedes is going to make a massive difference. Far more disruptive play here coming from... Uh, my insanity banning those small tractors. Having a look at Nitas Herman. bringing in the Fent Baylor with the Deutz Far tractor. I'm sure, Jan is not far behind doing the same thing for my insanity. In fact, probably yep. slightly ahead. Identical and they didn't the Baylor, so that's impressive. And Jan, yeah, oh, look at that. Neck. He missed the drive-by, though, my insanity. Um, so Herman looks uh, like they might have an advantage here. 114. Ooh, and that miss. <laughs> oh, no, Yan. He's got to go all the way around. That tractor is not easy to maneuver. And he's missed this oh, time. And no. that's probably in a, such a bad spot that you should just leave it and go at this point. He's going to try from this side again. He's not going to get it right. He's got it wrong again. No, he's he's got a, a lot of time wasted here. Ninety-two oh my points. Lord. Goodness, that could have been pretty even, but a significant advantage now for Herman early on, and a mistake by my insanity early. And he's out of the bailer and switching over to the fence. So this is the difference that they have: is that they are not taking the tractor off the baler to get the overloader trailer they are actually switching tractors to do it i think this is going to be quite a close match between these two they are very well matched at the moment that first bail those 18 points difference no no actually 22 points difference so it's more than a bail uh that that could be a big decider here weatherman in uh, youtube chat says this is by far the best set of matches i've seen almost everything is close yeah really closely matched yeah. teams um i mean there's a gap between these two teams and the other two but those two teams are really close in the table too i um, mean really at this stage these teams are very closely matched and it comes down to just the right moments, a mistake or two made, maybe even just a slight edge in individual skill that sets teams apart. So we've seen a lot of good matches today. And these two teams, especially, neck and neck in the season three standings. So I'm not sure what to expect. Orman currently have the edge. They've got a uh, one bail advantage and they have that 22 point lead. So, uh, yeah, the moment if this uh, if this bail went in that they've got, they've uh, they've got a 42 point lead, which uh, which is not to be sniffed at. Actually, we've seen most of the games today have been won with less. Yeah. It will be it will be interesting to see where this ends up at the end with with that kind of statistic sitting there don't forget about the giveaway for farming simulator 22 going on this weekend during the as we have our first technical break of the weekend and this Ooh. is i mean we're doing an online tournament um so this is bound to happen at some point it's really impressive that it's taken We've us lost, to the final group we've lost a member of my insanity 
But yeah, don't forget about the giveaway. Right. Farming Simulator 22 being given away. The uh, link is in Twitch chat. It's pinned on Facebook and YouTube. You still have time to go enter. If you enter on Gleam, don't worry. You don't have to be here when the winner is picked. You'll be contacted via email. So my sanity now has three minutes to get back into this or in the group stages here the they'll have to play a player down so we'll see yeah if they can get back hopefully they can but that's the risk that happens with the online tournament you know that's why ideally we would be having an in-person event here but that's just this the world we live in at the moment and what we have to deal with got to be willing to adapt so for the moment, have another look at these two awesome guys, Klaus and Steven, the German broadcasters. Klaus is the uh, lead of the FSL team, as well as doing the commentary today. Um, and they are at the studio in Germany, where the broadcast team is also running the broadcast for us. You see that awesome collector's edition with the beacon sitting on the table? Looking oh, lovely. That is a thing of beauty. Can't wait to have oh, here that we go. In my hands. PB is back in for my insanity. We're good to go, and I'm I'm thankful for that. Um, we're having a look, and I'm actually I'm actually quite pleased that the way uh, that the the technical breaks now. We found a way to reconnect somebody. Right. Um, is 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 very good. Rather than having to restart the whole the whole thing, um, is very good. So there's Jan for my insanity at the silo, flipping that multiplier in the advantage of my insanity for now, at least. It doesn't look like Herman are ready to bring any grain in. Nitos is in the baler. Their grain cart might be sitting at the silo. I think it is. We saw a shot of it when we came back from the break. So he might be working towards it with the baler, and then he's going to hop out and go over there and flip this uh, multiplier back to even. And the, the advantage of that is that they are out there. They are just making bales. Uh, Nitos already has given uh, Horaman a five bale advantage. So yeah, and that actually is something that we don't consider. That if they leave that that overloader there, yeah, the person bailing could just go out and make it. They don't have to worry about well. coming in and out. Yeah, and they don't have to worry about my insanity scoring points right now with the three to one advantage because no. my insanity have zero bales pressed. So just keep pressing bales in the area of the silo, and then he can easily run over and dump their grain when he's ready. The one thing you'll have to keep Look an eye that, on though is that's... he can't wait too long because he'll need to be back to empty them out again. And Lars switching around. It's, it's up to a nine bale advantage. We're wondering... Now, this is an interesting thing. I don't think Cortiva were using this method. I don't think they were emptying uh, into the trailer, if I remember correctly. So this yeah, I, would be a way right. to beat Cortiva at their own game. Carol, Caroline, thank you for that raid, by the way. We appreciate everyone's support this weekend. All right, we're seconds away from the eighth minute drops. This could be a stroke of great luck for Herman if grain multiplier drops here at the eighth minute and they've waited to deliver any of their grain. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're 10, they've got a 10 point bail advantage. That is just huge. And it is Bridges Raid. There's grain multiplier. So there's if grain Herman multiplier. Oh, man. Then, and Nitos is near the barn, so he'll probably go pick this up. I would imagine he's headed over there now. He has the baler up in that side. We can see him in the distance. And then Neo Prince, it, Neo Prince, Prince taking the full ideal. They already have a full grain cart. This is going to be a huge moment for Herman. This is this is massive for Herman. Yeah, they've got both combines there. He's they not grabbed grain position. multiplier yet. And now, they've got the grain multiplier. Now both teams have it. There we go. That is my insanity <laughs> already 10... delivered 30,000 liters oh. of theirs though. So this is advantage Herman definitely. This, yeah. This is this is what we the, that I've been saying quite a bit. If this comes up and you're using the uh, the empty the combines into the overloader method, you give yourself just Ooh. a massive advantage. My insanity though up. does have an extra 
two decimal points at 1.7 on their multiplier. So let's see how much this kind of levels out the advantage that Herman are going to get. Herman with more grain, my insanity with the higher grain multiplier drop. So it's actually currently 2.3 to 1.7, but... Herman but. has 16,000 more liters of grain. They need to get it in, though, in the next 30 seconds. And this is this is where Archimedes... Here it goes. Uh, Herman not having Archimedes might come into play. We will see if they've dropped all their grain when this ends. There's 5,000 liters outstanding. It has to be in that harvester there. I think Neo Prince but. is switching into... The new Holland now, he's not going to have it's, enough time. He switched back. He's to got to get... Oh, just there in we go. time. He's got it. He's got it inside and it. And 2. it's going to be a 2.2. Ooh, just in time with five seconds to spare. Well done. But if they've got if they've got any more sitting there, which they might, this could go higher. It says zero fact, grain no, to zero they've, now. They've delivered it yeah. all. They have got it all in. But that four extra points per huge. bale now for Herman. And they've got eight extra bales. Yeah, that if is. If they get all not these bales in, my insanity. my insanity is sunk. And my insanity had, and you know, they, playing they had the rough blinder. start too with first bale, so it's it's been a yeah. it's been a bad. Oh, he's gonna go for the chuck into the top. Let's see if he does it. No, no, rejected. That is that is risky to do without easy stack. To be honest, very risky. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? If you're oh. gonna bring a couple in with the telehandler at that point, why not try to score them right away? Um, and if they fall, then you still have time to come back and pick them up later and you get back out to the field. Not the worst thing, but definitely risky and gonna be tough to pull off without easy stack widening the doors there. And Neo Prince heading in. Oh, I'm lucky that second bale did not fall on there. And the flow is now in there and putting bales on with that telehandler. This lead is going to just start. Sky He's going to go for it again it here, is. PB. Oh, he completely <laughs> missed that time. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering. Now, so much karma. I'm he wondering if um, my insanity <laughs> realized that they're up against it in this first one, and so he's just using this as a way oh. to practice that or not, because it seems a very risky thing to do when you're trailing, <laughs> especially. And look at, look at that. Harmon already pulling away. The number of bales haven't evened up yet. I want, please, I oh. hope someone clips that second one because um, that was uh, hilarious. And, that was great. Uh, Horman also got the super drop for a single bale. Oh, so nice. So they've denied the super drop for my insanity as well. Yeah, bale withering for one bale. Rude, Herman. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> insult to so, injury yeah. here it looks a close game right now but over these next three minutes that lead is going to just start to increase every yeah. time a bail goes in for each team it's just four extra points for herman they've got extra bales already um so it's not shaping up well for my insanity going to take an absolute calamity of errors by herman for them to not win this first of the best of three here face plant into the barn i love it we're seeing the comments in chat now from early dirt yeah. it's dirt time face plant into the barn plows into the wall i love it at <laughs> <sighs> uh, 378 oh to he has picked up that extra one that he doesn't want to it looks close but look five extra bales for herman and four nice. extra points per those five too so it's herman are still just, out there uh, they've got enough time to get these in. Yeah. I think that he's done collecting I, I, them now. He's bringing them in. He may dump these off and get them collected in and uh, and then go and get the rest because that will give him enough time to get them in in time, I think. And, yeah, I think the rest are just... already there. Oh, nope. There's one. Oh, he's driven uh -huh. over. Okay, that 
that could have been disastrous. If he gets that tractor stuck on the top of that bale where it can't oh, yeah. get any of the wheels on the ground. I'm speaking from experience, he, by the way. It's happened to me playing in the FSL <laughs> arena. I don't uh -huh. know why there was a bale right by him when he was coming in there and he didn't grab it. And I don't understand why. You know, it was a very <laughs> small. Uh -huh. they really, there's one good thing we know about my insanity now. They really can hit the broad they side of a barn. <laughs> uh, not a dad joke. That's your best In work all, fairness, all day, all I weekend. Think, I think that barn is fairly square shaped. So <laughs> is that the broad side? <laughs> uh, your best work of the weekend, though, by far, Felden. Well done. Uh. Cheers. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man. 554 five. Just... I mean it looks closer than it should be with a minute to go, but look, six extra bales for Herman and the multiplier advantage scoring four extra per. Now they're in and the those, lead. Those and those bales at this point... are on the way in. We know less than a a a, a bale trailer's worth of bills out there. So they are on their way in. We now. did see Manatee though, you know, though. having the bales but not getting them in, costing them. So the same thing could happen here. Neo Prince has two on the front. And he's going to try to bring them in. Any sort of error here going across. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See? Oh, any, a little bit top heavy as well. A little bit shaky by Neo Prince, but he handled it well. Herman 730 and to 642. You can see that. Look at that. Herman pulling away. That will do it for the first of the best of three here. Herman are going to take yeah. it. And there'll be one win away from the quarterfinals. Yeah, that is insurmountable at this point. Herman All said and done. To get the bail 140 from point that win. In. 140 point win for Herman. Great wow. round from them. Great control of the multiplier. What happened though, my insanity went and delivered 30,000 liters of their grain too early. And Herman waited yeah. until the eighth minute to see if grain multiplier came up. Two very good teams that very well could if they hit farm at the right time. All they need to do is get to the quarterfinals and they have every chance of winning the entire season three championship. And my insanity was the third game. And my insanity has, well, Jan's got a better start, but... It looks like the flow is going to make it to the New Holland, and he has. And my side, you've got the Fent Baylor, but that's all right. Does Horman have one reserved? And PB hopping in the ideal. So the New Holland and the ideal for Horman. Both ideals for my insanity. And Nitos Knight already has that first bail and is heading in. That's quick. Yan makes and it Jan's... up for the distance he has to go. Um, he probably should turn off the bailer and he'd go a little bit faster, though. Sounded like that bailer was still running. Yeah, look but at the, the path that Yan that takes to... makes up for. Uh, oh. Not having the Baylor reserved, and it's good, and it evens things out. He takes a very smart path. So advantage Herman one twenty seven to one twenty six. A lot closer though than the first round. No mistake there on the first bail like we saw in the first round. Slightly more grain at the moment for Horriman than for my insanity, but that would be because Horriman are running the New Holland Combine. Definitely. And I'm wondering, I hope that my insanity has learned from the error of their ways and they're not going to deliver grain here early. Now, if grain multiplier drops in the 12th minute and you've got some ready, by all means, take it now. But don't deliver 30,000 liters of grain and gamble that grain multiplier isn't going to no. drop at the 8th minute if it doesn't drop at 12. And my insanity have disconnected 
the uh, the Deutz from the Baylor. Admittedly, they have two large tractors, but uh, yeah, I I think two large tractors is oh, <laughs> whoops, yeah, uh, caused a little bit of a, a, a problem there. <laughs> But yeah, I I don't think they need two large tractors, and this uh, this is one of the places they're falling down a bit. I think it's a bit Ooh, that of a was wasted a tight squeeze point. through there. That was well done. Great driving by both of them. And look at that Neo Prince bringing in front, so that they are in the okay. perfect place. Then so no grain multiplier. Both teams are going to go for something here. It looks like both will go for bail, bail drop. drop. So one bail moved close to the barn for each team. Not a bad one to get when you're nearby in the 12th minute. It just saves you from having to bring that one in later on. Uh, but now, so bail my advantage. insanity hasn't delivered any grain yet. Both teams are pretty close in the grain amount. So my insanity needs to make sure they're not going to make the same mistake again. So what is I'm fully expecting Horriman not to drop their grain at this point is my insanity going to though I don't know it cost them last time but if they go and deliver it now and grain multiplier doesn't show up then it's fine but that's a risk you have to take if you're going to deliver it now I, I see no advantage to delivering it now at all to be honest no, there's not really, unless you're ready to take bales in, which I doubt they are. They have which three press, not. and they're going to deliver it. They, they're going to deliver it. Which so means they are he's sitting again. there, not pressing bales. And if grain multiplier doesn't show up, then Herman have the advantage again, and it's going to be Herman going through to the quarterfinals, and Mind Sanity will drop into the losers bracket and have to win another matchup later on. I guess we'll see at the eighth minute. Now, if it doesn't show up, then it's fine. But still, like you said, what is really the advantage? Unless you're just trying to avoid bringing your combines in. But it's still yeah. a gamble. And I, I don't see the advantage of not bringing your combines in. It's not like you're you're getting out there with a second bailer because you're, you're not bringing your combines in. You know, there's nothing they're doing that makes up the bail disadvantage. Right. The, Which is now the four. way they're playing. Their is. bail disadvantage is four, and if grain multiplier drops, they're at a grain disadvantage now. Yeah. And look at the distance Jan is having to run to get this as well. All of this is wasting his time. Right. Where the Herman are just making bales, and they're now of the six bail advantage. Now seven, seven bell advantage. Crazy. That's and the and you know Nitos is doing the same thing as last time too, where he's down in this area. We're a minute away now from the eighth minute drop. So let's see where this is gonna show up and what it's gonna be. Now if grain multiplier doesn't show up, my insanity have dodged a bullet here. If it shows up, they're gonna be up against it again. And here comes De Fla now with the new Holland with further grain in it. So not only do they have a full 30,000 liter grain cart sitting there, the new Holland holds 14,500. But the, the other trouble they've got, so Mind Santi are now emptying two ideals into this grain cart. This grain Which is, cart does not hold everything right. that these yeah. ideals have. The ideals hold 17,100 and the grain cart only holds 30. So you're losing 4,200 liters that you can't bring in this way. This is why you see a lot of teams doing the grain. So they have avoided the grain multiplier this time. It's herbicide and speed limit. So speed limit. they've so gotten I a bit fortunate with that. Um, but at the same time... Now Herman are going to deliver their grain. And for yep. a brief moment still, Herman should have the multiplier in their favor with enough bales to fill up the Anderson loader and bring in. 
I'm not sure Armin are going to worry too much about the slowdown. They might go and pick it up. But at the moment, their concern they are, right now it's needs to be getting bales in. Like they need to get bales in when this multiplier is in their favor, which it's about to be. They have picked up slowdown. Both yeah. teams have picked it up now. What's up, three seater? Good to see you again. There's the bail drop bail, and here is my insanity trying to score some extra points. Yeah, it's actually and they in are their gonna favor, get, which they is are surprising. gonna get two bales in at twenty-four. Oh, they actually were they delivered all their grain in the meantime, so um it's now two point three. Two point two. They've scored one of them. Or did they get both? They've, in scored, now? they've scored both of them, I think, at this point. And yep. Ooh, the, it's still in their favor. There's only three thousand liters of grain there for Herman, but that should be enough. Yep, and we're at two to two. So yep. Okay, good bit of play by my insanity then. They got a bit fortunate that the grain multiplier didn't drop. It went in their favor. They scored some points when they had the advantage, so that's given them a little bit of a cushion. The problem is it's back to even, and they have a five-bale deficit. Yeah. And now it's now it's going to be down to, can these teams get these bales in? Are there going to be any combo bonuses? Look at the flow, bringing in those bales with the telehandler. I like the telehandler running the Anderson, to be honest. It looks nice. And I do. Uh, it's, it, make, it, you know, it makes sense. And the, and the other thing is, because... Um, Horman are running a bale stacker on the front of the Anderson. They can bring more bales in at a time. Right. You know, they have the ability to bring more bales in all the time. Which is just so much better play. And it's a play that we haven't seen a lot of recently because teams have been going for other stuff. But it's, Oh, here goes PB. And here this go, didn't work PB. out so well. And it still didn't nope. work out so well. <laughs> I think we might want to retire that move when uh, a spot in the quarterfinals is on the line. We might want to get rid of that attempt. <laughs> Too much at stake here. Style points do not count as he catches a little bit of air going off the bridge. Herman bringing a bunch of bales in. If I were Herman there, I would have dumped those into the bottom and take the yeah. extra combo points because... I don't think my insanity is at their barn at all. But they're going to lay no. them on the ground. I, I think there will come a point. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's in this season. Um, but I, I think that is something that's missed on, uh, you know, check the map. See if your opponents are at their barn. If they aren't, throw them all in the bottom. You will make more points doing it that way with 14 bales. Yep. Not massively more, but you will still make more points. Slight lead for my insanity. Four minutes ago, I would wait if I was Lars to unload this in case bottom boost is the super drop. He's going to start unloading and there it, it is. though. It spawns, and he's unloading. It's a bale oh, withering. Bale withering. Now. All right. Oh, go. and Horaman are out there after it. They will grab it. That could go. be helpful to close this gap. They have a four bale advantage now, which look, is the 80 bale. points. That's where it's gone They from. would win. So right now, bale, bale for bale, they would win if they get all their bales in, Herman. They would be advancing to the quarterfinal. Will they get them all in, though? Let's see. Three and a half to go. Mind Sanity has pressed another bale in the meantime. So has... Herman, so they're both out there still pressing bales. And up this goes. Yeah, neither team, because both teams have lots of bales there, neither team heading for a combo at the moment. It really is bale for bale. Some really good camera angles coming in now. The the team, it shows that the FSL team has grown as well because this has been, it's always been good camera work, but this has been top-notch this weekend. So it has. thanks for the love in the chat for the crew and also 
we send our love to them as well because they're doing a fantastic job. Makes our job easier too when the camera angles are like that. Herman, Herman's still trailing. Amazingly, they're still trailing. But another another trailer worth coming in right now. Five oh seven to five thirty two. This is such a close game. I was ten minutes younger when I noticed the stats are on the bottom left. <laughs> Brilliant Todd. And that is my insanity. There are more bales here now right now the for Horman than for my insanity and Horman are oh I were about to take the lead. This is close. This is going to be closer than I thought, to be honest. Now, Herman have now taken the lead. They want to get every one of these bales in the top. Right now, those two bales that My Insanity scored when they had the multiplier in their favor is giving them a chance at winning this. They have more bales than Ooh, Herman that... now, too, but they have to get them in. They're bringing them in a couple at a time. And we'll see if they... Oh, there no! goes one off for Herman. Herman. Dropped a bail. There is a minute to go, so enough time to get it back. But anyone falling... Oh, there goes another one, though, for Herman. One. Oh, that's bad news. That might be... That's good news for my insanity. Bad news for Herman. My insanity now pulling away with 40 seconds. All right, 627, 667 to 702. And Sanity bringing more bales in. I think we're going to see a game three unless something crazy happens here. I, I would agree. This is... Uh, my Insanity, though, my insanity might have to have put these into the bottom. As well. 18 seconds. Lars needs to get those in. There's enough time for these bales to go in for Horman. Oh, look at the telehandler is coming in. Is there enough time for them to go the Oh, this is going to be close. I don't think those oh. are going in for my insanity. One fell oh. off for my insanity. Horman are leading. My insanity nope. leading. My insanity won it. My insanity oh, take goodness. it. Wow, game three. Here we come. Oh, man. Well done, my insanity. That was so close. I it don't is. expect my insanity and, and, to and, deviate from it, though. I think they'll stick with the same strategy because they'll say, yeah, we lost the first one, but we won the second one, and we got to hope that the drops uh, fall in our favor again. So we'll see how it plays out. It was my insanity. It was actually my insanity doing something that we've screamed at teams here to do. When you have the multiplier in your favor, score with bales. And this is why... Uh, by insanity were able to win that last one they went and put three bales in when they had the multiplier in their favor and as a result they they won that match by by fewer points than they scored when they had that multiplier over, uh, available to them lars running a little bit into the crop there before he gets the header down and nitos here as normal doing that absolutely flawless first bail pickup he does have to drive the whole way down the map but that Deutz is actually quite a fast tractor meanwhile Jan is coming in with the John Deere bailer this time they have not gone with that Fent bailer and I think that actually is going to cost them if they continue to use that did Horman manage to grab the Fent bailer and stop my insanity from getting it. 132 first bail from Yan there. Maybe Yan grabbed it to, to get those extra points. But uh, yeah, Nitos backing in and getting 120. So 12 point difference. Oh, nice. In this first bail. Good start for yeah, my insanity. I don't, I don't know why my insanity have gone for that John Deere bailer though. That to me is maybe not he did a do it for choice. the extra points now, and he's going to change his mind. Maybe the where was the Fent Baylor? Was it far away? Were you able to see it? It it, it must have been. Well, either either that, or Horman took the chance to put off the podium, going. We need to take that out of play. 
So, uh, yeah. That is, that is an interesting one. Have Horriman managed to sort a very nice bail advantage here? Currently, though, my insanity is pressed more. They have. I think, I think they've gone a little bit further with it. Because they, they do... They do press more to begin with because they do that that strip through the middle of the wheat, which is longer than the bit that um, uh, the Horman do. Because Horman do just enough to get that first bail. Look at and this two ideals. The load. Yeah, and with the oh, dumping some grain there though. The floor Again, and I don't think night us here. Those ideals aren't a massive advantage unless you're taking them up to the sell point. Well, um, if I'm a uh, Herman, I'm getting silo closed uh, near the end of this window because my insanity want to go deliver it, but maybe that would actually help my insanity. I don't know. Uh, I, but... uh, I would very tempt... Well, it depends if my insanity then follow the follow the tactic they're on or whether they then changed tax i don't lars really expect is heading oh, over, lars is though. headed this way he'll probably go for bail drop to be honest but we'll see but horman seem very unconcerned by it uh, horman silos closed yep. will make no difference and yeah so my insanity no not to go for that yeah, my insanity has a player close to it now, but three seconds. I don't think they're going to make a move for it. They're not close enough. No rest, my man. This is Farm Sim, Farming Simulator League. It runs on Farm Sim 19 at the moment. We don't have any news, really, on what it'll look like in the future, whether it'll come to 22 or not. We'll uh, have more to announce about the Farming Simulator League fourth season early next year. And Nitos, now that he has dropped the trailer off, is heading back. And again, we're seeing Jan bring this trailer back. I, this just does not seem like a wise idea to me. Yeah, it worked last time. But again, if this grain multiplier drops in the eighth minute, then Herman are going to the quarterfinals. It's a massive gamble to take. You're, you're betting on... The game doing you a favor and the fact that it dropped in the first game and worked against you and then didn't drop in the second game and worked for you would lead you to believe that it has a good chance of dropping here in the third of the best of three and now the bail deficit has disappeared and that John Deere Baylor is sitting there in the middle of the field unused While Nitos is just pressing bales. Now I really a two think, like, bail advantage. Even though my insanity won that last round, Herman have a really sound strategy. It's not to say that my insanity isn't good either, but you know, Herman, fourth place team, if they advance to the quarterfinals with a win in this round, they're going to be a tough customer with this strategy, I think. If they're doing something different than other teams. They're not going with Archimedes. They're reserving that Fent Baylor and the ideal. And they're just going about their business and making sure they're pressing a large amount of bales. And the, and the, the way they're doing it is just so different as well. So these, I, I can only think that these harvesters now, they're taking them up to 30,000 liters and then doing that right it's they could dump so much more grain and it's it's such a weird thing to see a team not trying to maximize their grain output. right if they would if they were to leave it at the barn too like you know in that last or the round that they lost when the multiplier was really against them they could have evened that up a bit so who knows good morning x man good to see you in chat 
Hey X-Man, welcome along. And the drop yep. has spawned. What is it? And they've dodged Speed a up bullet and bridges again lowered. by Insanity. They've dodged a bullet again, so that could be advantage by Insanity. This is how it played out in the second match up here and right. it worked out in my Herman insanity's needs to favor dump this grain Herman need to dump this grain and score. also score some points with it i'm wondering if oh um, what's he he's trying to keep it full i guess oh yeah um but yeah he needs to they need to score points now if they get this advantage in yeah. their favor herman they need to score some points with Bales because PB but now is Mind Sanity nowhere is near the barn. And yeah, but Mind Sanity now, this is similar to what happened in the last game. But the problem is the last time they scored Bales, this time they need to try to score yeah. Bales again in this little tiny window, but I don't think they'll be able to pull it off. It's gonna end up being at two to two when all of this grain is dumped for Herman. It's all coming out. He, he didn't need to do that. That is a mistake. Yeah, so last time mine said... Oh, he did score. Oh, he scored him with the toss. He did it, man. And he managed... He and scored at the with right the time. At the right time, too, with the multiplier advantage. I'm not sure, though, what was going on for neo prince for herman why he hopped out and restarted the harvesters they were already dumping were they I not they were by the looks of things they were already dumping so it's a little bit of a weird thing to have done had done but yeah uh an extra eight points so let's remember that if they get eight point advantage at the end. He's done it again? Oh, he has got Okay, that well, he's he saved the best for last. He's gotten it completely wrong at times. Granted, in that first match, that's when he had that technical break because he disconnected. So maybe it was a little bit of lag he was having and that little break in between matches has given him time to get things kind of reset. But, but man, he's, my he's worked out playing. exactly where those bales need to be yeah. on the front of that. My to insanity do that is just into the playing top. a really good game so far. And with five minutes to go, they've given themselves a 160 point lead with a now, spot in the quarterfinals on the line. He's got to be very, very careful. If he does the toss now, he's going to give points to Horror Man. Is he? Oh, he oh, hasn't done it. He. He kind of, I, I don't know if he, he thought like halfway oh. through that to change his approach or something. Uh, he doesn't it's, necessarily it's need to chuck them straight in anymore. That one's going to fall no. off. Um, which country are these players from? We've had a question. That, Germany, uh, Czech Republic, Switzerland. I think we got a team from the Netherlands in the FSL. Um, I think that's it. I might be, I might be leaving oh, some teams out. No. No! Ooh, Lars is now stuck. That is a disaster. It could be okay if the super drop is bottom boost. He might dodge a bullet here, but we'll see. That gives Herman a little bit of hope. That is... That is... Hey, Dajnet in the chat. Good to see you, Dave. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hey, Dajnet. Welcome along. The past tournaments have always been on this channel. There's also the German language broadcast um, that runs over on Giant Software DE. We have a clean feed that runs during some of the events on Giant Software Clean Feed Switch channel. Oh. We're now also on YouTube and Facebook, on the Farming Simulator Facebook and the Farming Simulator League Esports Facebook. My insanity has evened up the bale deficit, but so slightly by grabbing the one bale bale withering. I think the good thing they is... They are is actually on fire. These tournaments uh, for the group stages, they run later than a normal tournament would because there's just a sheer more amount of games. Like, So maybe if you're you know, just waking up, if you're on the in the Western Hemisphere, you're getting to see it for the first time because it is running later into the day that uh, it's going on. We're now at noon Eastern time. 
A French team? Yeah, I think you're right about that, Blue. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Bale's falling off. My insanity are looking good for moving on to the quarterfinals here at the moment. They are, they are dominating this. At and the in moment. the two games they've won, they have gambled on grain multiplier not dropping in the eighth minute, and it's paid off for them. And they've also been able to score bales when they have the multiplier in their favor. It's not been a lot, but it's enough to give them a gap here. They're up by 200 points. That's going to close a bit. But then it'll also extend back out here in a moment, too. 540 to 420 at the moment. 215 to go. Uh, the seventh of eight spots in the quarterfinals on the line. The loser is not out of it completely. They'll drop into game five, which is basically the final of the loser's bracket. The loser will wait to see who the winner of Pertinger and Manitou, our next match, will be. And then those two teams in game five <laughs> will fight for the second place finish in this group and the final spot in the quarterfinals next month for the season three championship that pretty much fell perfectly for Harriman there it could have been so much worse but they have a nearly 200 point deficit to, to catch up on and they've got more bales coming in there are bales <laughs> here to do this Belden, you work night shifts though normally <laughs> how do you think i feel uh, i think that's the joke here <laughs> with your emo love having you in these oh. events Felden. it wouldn't feel the same oh. without you here to be honest so we're glad you get to hang and out and stay up late with us uh, dropping bales off and herman just do not seem to be able to close this yeah. gap Power Team Esport is our French team, and we've had a comment from one of the players on YouTube. There you go. Hey. How you doing, Valo? Bonjour. And off the back of... Oh, no! Ooh. Oh, that's going off. Ah, oh, my inside... It's... That gap is closing. But Horman needs... Bales coming in. They've only got... Five there bales isn't a massive here. Ferguson but team, my though. insanity are just dropping bales off the side. Oh, it's a 40 point lead. To 780. This is way closer than it should be. 760. 800, 800 to 760. Four points in this, and the bales Briefly, are there. Briefly, it's going to close, but oh my goodness, oh, it's going to be close. Is that going to get in? The flow needs to put that in the bottom. Oh my goodness, 820 to 820. Herman win Who the tiebreaker. Herman win the tiebreaker. It's 820 to 820. They... Did they? I'm pretty sure oh, it just yeah, finished cause... 820 to 820. And more bales it delivered did. into the top. More bales. One extra bale. The extra bale. Yeah, 37 <laughs> to 36. To oh, my. Are you kidding me? Oh, my Lord. That's how we've decided which one of these teams gets the easy route to the quarterfinal. Oh, my By goodness. A bale. <laughs> my insanity only have themselves to blame there they had that firmly in their grasp and oh. bale started dropping off the belt and herman have come through big with one extra bale delivered their teeth they are you through. have to be kidding me